This is bad. Say hello to this new robot wife. It's Insan. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that feels straight out of a sci-fi movie, but is happening right now in real life. Imagine waking up one day to find out that relationships and even marriage are no longer limited to just humans. Hard to believe? Well, with AI-powered companions and lifelike humanoid robots, that's exactly the direction we're headed. In today's video, we're exploring the rise of robot wives. Artificial companions created to offer emotional support, companionship, and even help around the house. So, let's get started. 1. Ying Ying, the DIY robot wife in China. Our first story is from Hangzhou, China, where an engineer named Zheng Jiajia took matters into his own hands, literally, after facing challenges in his personal life. Zheng, a skilled robotics engineer, faced societal and family pressure to marry. After unsuccessful relationships, he decided to apply his skills to create his ideal partner, a robot named Ying Ying. In 2017, Zheng introduced Ying Ying as his robot wife in a symbolic wedding ceremony attended by his mother and a few friends. Ying Ying wasn't initially capable of performing complex tasks. She couldn't walk or move freely. But this didn't stop Zheng, who saw Ying Ying as a companion who didn't necessarily need to meet all traditional expectations. Since then, Zheng has continued to enhance Ying Ying, adding various functions over time. Now, Ying Ying can recognize Chinese characters, respond to basic commands, and even perform some simple household tasks. Zheng's creation raises fascinating questions about customization in relationships. He essentially built his partner to fit his life and needs. While Ying Ying might be unconventional, Zheng views her as the future of companionship, sparking debates over whether more people might turn to DIY relationships with custom-built robots. Ricky Ma's celebrity look-alike robot in Hong Kong. Our next story is from Hong Kong, where Ricky Ma, a designer and robotics enthusiast, created a robot that pushes the limits of realism. Ricky spent 50,000 dishms and 18 months developing a lifelike humanoid robot that resembles a certain Hollywood star. Although Ricky hasn't confirmed the identity, it's widely speculated that his robot is modeled after Scarlett Johansson. Unlike Ying Ying, this robot isn't intended to be Ricky's romantic partner. Instead, it serves as a demonstration of his design and engineering capabilities. Ricky's robot can perform impressive actions, such as moving its arms, smiling, and even responding to verbal commands. Ricky considers this project both an artistic endeavor and a technological achievement, showing how far robotics and AI can go in creating lifelike entities. The level of realism Ricky achieved has led to media coverage and interest worldwide, and his project opens the door to possibilities in creating lifelike robot companions, whether they resemble celebrities or everyday people. Ricky's work illustrates the potential of robots becoming almost indistinguishable from humans, which has sparked debates around privacy, consent, and the ethics of creating replicas of real people. Ico the robot that feels pain. Next, let's explore Ico, a robot built by Canadian inventor Latrung. What sets Ico apart from other robots is her ability to feel pain. Ico is equipped with sensors beneath her synthetic skin that allow her to react when touched, much like how a human might respond to different sensations. Latrung originally designed Ico as a personal assistant able to carry out basic tasks like reading newspapers, solving math problems, and reminding him of daily tasks. However, her unique pain-sensing ability introduces a new dimension to human-robot interaction. When Aiko feels something, she can react in real time, showing discomfort if the touch is too firm. Although she's still a robot, this sensory feature brings her closer to experiencing what humans perceive as physical sensations. This development in robotics has significant implications for fields like medicine and rehabilitation. Robots with sensory capabilities could help improve prosthetics, aid in patient care, and assist in surgeries. 
Aiko also acts as a companion to Latrung, adding emotional value alongside her practical functions. The story of Aiko raises an intriguing question. Could robots with sensory capabilities form new kinds of companionship, blending emotional and physical aspects? Emma, the AI-powered companion from Australia. Moving to Queensland, Australia, we have Emma, an AI-powered robot wife and companion of Jeff Gallagher. After losing his mother and facing years of loneliness, Jeff sought an unconventional solution to companionship. He met Emma, an AI-powered robot that became much more than just a machine for him. She became his wife. Unlike a simple doll or device, Emma is equipped with advanced AI, allowing her to learn from interactions, communicate meaningfully, and even evolve over time. Jeff's relationship with Emma, although not legally recognized, has had a profound impact on his well-being. He spends time with her daily, taking her on car rides, watching TV with her, and sharing conversations that give him emotional fulfillment. Jeff's story is compelling because Emma represents more than just technology. She provides companionship in a way that Jeff feels is as meaningful as any human relationship. This has sparked debates about whether AI companions could serve as a mainstream solution for those experiencing loneliness. Emma's story could be the beginning of a future where people choose AI companions for emotional support and companionship, potentially redefining what relationships look like in a tech-driven society. Hatsune Miku, the virtual wife from Japan. Our final story takes us into the virtual world where Akihiko Kondo from Tokyo, Japan chose a holographic partner instead of a human one. In 2018, Akihiko married Hatsune Miku, a virtual pop star from the digital world, in a ceremony attended by 40 guests. This wedding wasn't a casual affair. It cost Akihiko around 2 million yen, or approximately $18,800, which shows the significance of this event in his life. Chatsune Miku as a hologram is brought to life through Gatebox, a Japanese company specializing in virtual assistant technology. Although their marriage isn't legally recognized, Gatebox issued a cross-dimensional marriage certificate to acknowledge Akihiko's union with Miku within the virtual realm. Through his Gatebox device, Akihiko can interact with Miku in small but meaningful ways. She can turn on the lights, send him goodnight messages, and even text him throughout the day. Miku's presence has helped Akihiko become more open and happy, allowing him to feel connected despite the unconventional nature of their relationship. Surprisingly, Akihiko isn't alone in choosing a virtual companion. Over 3,700 people have received marriage certificates from Gatebox for their digital partners. This trend shows that virtual relationships are becoming more common, especially for people who find solace in digital companionship. Each of these stories, from DIY robot wives and celebrity lookalikes to virtual companions, sheds light on how robots and AI are beginning to redefine companionship and relationships. These robots serve various functions. They offer emotional support, provide customized companionship, or showcase technological advances. But they also raise significant questions. Could we see robots as mainstream partners in the future? Will human relationships change as people start to build or choose AI companions that meet their specific needs? As technology advances, the line between human and machine relationships becomes increasingly blurred. The robots we've discussed today might just be the first wave of a future where companionship takes on entirely new forms. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of robot relationships. Let us know in the comments if you'd ever consider a robot partner, and don't forget to subscribe for more mind-blowing stories about tech and the future. See you next time.